Welcome back to Cooling Out. This is Kevin. This is Sal. And this is Jarrell. That was my little tribute right there. I was, I was like literally a little key singing there. I want to laugh. <laughs> no, we ain't laughing, but <laughs> I'm not laughing at the situation. I'm laughing at how terrible my singing was. Mm -hmm. Let's start there. But real talk though, seriously, let's start with yesterday. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. XXX. XX. I think it's X Stentacion. Tentacion. Tentacion. See, mm -hmm. close enough. Mm -hmm. But no, RIP for real, man. I Let's just discuss our initial feelings when you won. Well, I don't know. Just tell me your initial feelings when you found out. I was shocked. Yeah. I was shocked. A friend had text. <clears throat> and you guys text. I didn't check my phone, so I ended up checking your text beforehand. And then I was just going back and forth with you guys and my other friend. And I was just shocked. I didn't know what to say. The initial was... That he had no pulse, that he wasn't responsive. Yeah. I didn't want to assume the worst because they were going to take him to the um, to the ER. But I saw the video too, which I wish I didn't see. I was just in shock. I was in pure shock. I yeah. couldn't believe it. What about you? I don't know. I don't believe it. It's something in me that's like, I don't know. It's just weird. And like everything that's going on in hip hop with them on Instagram beefing and it's like them showing guns, threatening to go to each other's hood. Chief Keith got shot at like two weeks ago. Yeah, in New York. Times Square. It's like in Times Square. It's like this I saw this coming, but I didn't think it would be him. Because he's been like on a good streak so far compared to the past. Yeah. And it sucks. Honestly, when it first when I first heard it. I was like, damn, that's crazy, because uh, TMZ first reported that he was already dead. Like, he was lifeless, didn't have a pulse. I was like, oh, he, okay, he, like, I'm not, not saying like that, but I was like, oh, damn, he died. That's, I mean, he got killed, that's mm. crazy. But then I saw the video, and then I was like, this is crazy, like, yo, why are people recording this? I know. Like, he, he literally just looked, looked limp, oh, like, yeah. lifeless. He wasn't moving, he wasn't breathing. And it just, it felt surreal, honestly. Yeah. I was just like, wow, like, Boom, my life can go that quickly. Mm -hmm. And for nothing. Like, if they took a bag, apparently, like, yeah. they didn't even take <clears throat> nothing from him like that. Well, we don't know what was in that bag. Yeah. I'm sure it was probably cash. He said he was shopping for motorcycles or something. But it's also like, there's just so many details about this story that I feel like we'll, we'll never know. Yeah. Like, starting from mainly with who did it. That's mm -hmm. one. Um, two, how they know how they know he was there. Um, uh, I think he was on live earlier. I think I don't know that. Well, supposedly the the motorcycle shop took a picture uh, of him and posted it up, and said uh, X is in here shopping. Mm -hmm. I didn't even uh, think about that part. But I also want to know where did he get shot? Oh yeah, because he was in two different spots. They said right. I don't even. So I, I what, looking at the video right. I'm looking at the car. There's no bullets or anything like the car doesn't doesn't look at it even had a scratch on it yeah they said he got shot in his car mm -hmm. so i'm like in my mom like maybe he got shot and then like he like maybe he got shot while he was walking to his car or something mm -hmm. and then got in the driver's seat thinking he's gonna you know drive off and then just you uh, know die there be blood on the floor that's the thing from like my observations i didn't see anything like mm -hmm. anything that said wow like this was just a drive-by shooting mm -hmm. Any, well, anything in like in close proximity to him, anyway. Like that said, it was a drive-by shooting. I don't know. Either way, it's extremely sad. It really is. I'm also disappointed though, and people. Uh. <laughs> I got on Twitter immediately yesterday. Some of the shit people were saying was just like, just downright despicable. Like, granted, you know, like all the allegations against him about him, you know, beating his girl and all that. Which, quick aside. That shit is terrible. I, I have to look it up today. Yeah. He beat the shit out of her. Allegedly. 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 <laughs> Allegedly. <Yeah>. But <clears throat> people were just like. I don't mean he deserved that. Exactly. People were just like going in on Twitter like, well, he's a woman, be a woman beater anyway, so I wouldn't feel. This before he died. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't feel bad if he did die. See like that? a lot of people, like some of them. hundreds of thousands of retweets, reposts, and people like arguing with each other about who deserves to die, who deserves to live, and. Well, you know, he lived it. If someone like wrote a long tweet like, um, if you're a woman beater and you praise the devil and all this other stuff, um, 
when when God like when God comes knocking, my my I I, I shouldn't really care. And like they had like the Kobe picture where he was just like hmm, you know like whatever. That's so idiotic. And it's just like yo, it's so idiotic. Yeah, it's idiotic. It's just like so, just a lack of empathy people have. Like the next person dies, okay, how much I hate you. That's just still like extremely sad. That and like you know his wrongs, but he's influenced countless, of course, and helped countless of who <laughs> millions of people probably. Mm-hmm. Young adults, he's probably shaped their lives for the better, given his music, like him talking about mental health and stuff. Obviously, what he did to that girl, allegedly, allegedly. <clears throat> if true, is despicable and like some horrific. Some of the things I read. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Well, you gotta judge the full scope of a person. Yeah. Like I even saw like a live he did where he's basically like, if I have to be a sacrifice, I hope that I influence millions of people. I hope for the for the better. Not to let you like be depressing at the best of you. <laughs> that was a scary thing though. That was like that was his last live video, I believe, on IG. That's what I saw. Yeah, and like it's basically him like predicting his own death in a sense, which is like scary as hell to think about. Like he was very dark too. Like he was a dark person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if he was white, they'd be they would classify him as a god. Yeah, god. Mm-hmm. Evil but, rap. Yeah, but he's like he's a very dark person, but it's also just like I don't know. It just came out of nowhere. Nate was shot. It was like it was like very like oh wait what he got shot in Miami oh wait what he died it was like oh wow and it's like oh wow yeah I don't know it still just feels like so unreal it's crazy. Mm-hmm. So also I didn't realize like how how big he was like because I wasn't I never like, really really listened to his music I listened to like. A bit of his last album, question. And I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. Like, you know, he makes some some dope music. But I didn't really like recognize his <clears throat> influence on people. Yeah. Like when you got Kanye and J Cole and those people, like you know, talking about how you touch them and inspire them. I was like, damn, like. Yeah, Kendrick was coming to uh, his aid when they wanted to ban him from the Spotify yeah. playlist. Kendrick oh, was yeah, speaking on his behalf. They saved it too. Yeah. He managed to get the playlist on back on because he can't get destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. That was going on live looking destroyed. Who did? Lil Boozy. Oh. He, he looked destroyed. It's a lot of people. He was, I don't know. Like, I I didn't like him when he did that whole Drake thing. And he was like, he was sort of like 6'9 with the whole trolling. And he was always on the internet. And I didn't know where to like, come out the gate. I remember, like, when we ice <laughs> Like, he was getting beat up on stage. Like, I remember I sent yeah. you guys a video oh, of him yeah. getting jumped. Mm-hmm. And, like, there was no reason why I And no one did anything. No one did nothing. Just watched him get beat up on stage. I remember that. And I was just, I don't even, I didn't even like him. But I remember listening to his album, like, I think last year. 17. It was a sad fucking album. It's, like, one of the saddest yeah. albums I've ever heard. But, like... That one, I'm really. John Mayer is the only person who can make me feel like that. And yeah. he, like, mm. it's good though. Like, it's not good, bad, but it makes you go inside yourself. And that's yeah. why I appreciated him. Like, both his albums are good. If you mm. guys have a chance, I'm serious. No, I've heard listen. both of them. And some of those songs, like, uh, what's, I don't know, Jocelyn Flores. I don't that's know. his most popular. That one. is. Um, There's a beat too. You'll like the beat. I gotta listen to it. It's like a little under two minutes, maybe two minutes. It just sort of Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. What is everyone's beef with him? Because you, you're saying how he got jumped on stage last year. And I saw that. I ain't gonna lie, I thought that was funny. I was like, yo, damn, no one's doing anything. And then, like, out of nowhere today, he get, he just gets, like, random. Not, sorry, yesterday. It, it feels random to me because I don't really know much mm-hmm. about him, but he, he got randomly murdered coming out of a motorcycle shop. Mm-hmm. Like, what's everyone's beef with him? Not everyone, per se, but, like, what I don't is know. The, the only thing I know is like that Florida circuit they have, like Slump God, uh, Smoke Kurt. I don't know if uh, Lil Pump is involved in this, but there's like a cer- there's a number of Florida rappers like Kodak, and coming up like they were all friends, and then all of a sudden they stopped being friends. When he got jumped that time, uh, that was like Rob Stone, who was like a totally different rapper, but like XXX is that. When clout, when you hear that word clout, it was him who started that that term. Like, he was basically one of the first rappers to not really get a deal because he could rap, but because of his popularity among mm-hmm. social, like, everyone. He was popular because um, that picture of him surfaced 
with the half head and he looked like a Dragon Ball Z character. Was mugshot? Yeah, the first mugshot, everybody was going nuts. And he came out with that Look At Me Now song, and that's when it started to blow. You know, and he was being disrespectful, starting trouble places. He mm -hmm. got into the domestic dispute issue. So it, it seemed like a Florida thing. Like he had, and then, you know, he, the internet, like he was boasting, he was clout chasing, that's what they call it. So nobody stopped to like it. And then he was getting at Drake, he was getting at some other artists, and it was just like, he was stirring trouble. He was basically just wanting attention. Did he get and did he get at any artist that we could, um, for example, like Six Nine is getting into it with Chief Keef, so something happened to him. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'm gonna be too surprised because like I remember like Chief Keef and Lil Jojo died. <laughs> oh, yeah, how they yeah. were on Twitter like, damn, Jojo. shame what happened to Jojo, laughing about someone's death, was, so was, that that someone's was, murder, correction. Yeah. They were laughing about it. So in that situation, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I can see, you know, something happened to him. My mom was on, I can go where that happened. Did uh, X get into it with anyone that we could, like, be like, oh, wow, you know, this might be intentional? Again, like, uh, I, don't know saying, much, I don't okay. know about how those Miami. That's not my generation. Uh, so I don't know how they're moving on it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a totally yeah, I different environment. Like, I didn't even know there was so many Florida artists out. Like, it's a group of them that you just didn't even, you wouldn't know unless they said yeah. Florida. But that's crazy. I don't know. It, and and even like it was what five months ago he got out of he got out of jail. Like they let him out. The uh -huh. judge allowed him to go on tour. Like he was doing a lot. He he was giving money. He was doing um he was opening up charities. He got his mom a, a, a grandma a grandma house a house for his grandma. Like he was doing things. He was doing pot. He was going to see Kanye at the the mountains. Like they have pictures with him. Like he was doing music and he kept. Oh, they are. Yeah. Him and Kanye. Yeah, he was oh, in wow. the mountains. Like they showed pictures. It was just like three months ago, before even an album was talked about. <laughs> he used to have that laptop with the blonde shit. Yeah. Like he was over there too, and a lot of like J Cole loves him. He tweeted him last year, and then Kendrick tweeted that album again. So it's like his music was there, his music, but him, he wasn't there yet, and that's where he was on his way. Yeah. Twenty, yeah. That's why I couldn't believe it's so 20. sad. I, I mean, I, I hope you know more details come out. I just hope it stops this bullshit. Well, this killing? It's not even killing. It's just like um, rich kid got beat up over the weekend. They robbed him. Um, yeah, they went a home invasion. They pistol whipped him. They hit oh, his yeah. girl. He was in the hospital. And um, they killed another rapper, but I don't know. Yeah, who I forgot. Him. Jimmy Waco. Yeah, yeah. I don't Pittsburgh know rapper. Is. I, I listened to some of his music yesterday. Not for me, but RIP to him as well. He just got signed to Taylor Game. Oh, wow. <clears throat> yeah. I only know because uh, Sledgerin tweeted it out yesterday. He's like, uh, um, we just signed him. I can't stop crying. <clears throat> yeah, he just got signed to Taylor Game, I, I'm assuming, recently. Yeah, oh. Jimmy Waffle hitting a drive by in Pittsburgh. It's crazy. Two rappers within like three hours got killed in their cities. In their own cities. In their own cities, both by drive-bys. <clears throat> Meanwhile, six nine wildin' in Chicago, throwing up gang signs well, in front of him. Chill now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you saw that video you put yeah, up? Yeah, dude. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. He like type of type of dude that that like chill for the moment. <laughs> yeah, you see. And then once he realized like this shit blew over, <laughs> he be back to his normal fuckery. Like, he just can't help himself. Is it done yet? Like. <laughs> Straight way. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I hope not. Yeah, but no, nah, I mean, it's, I don't know, it's crazy, like, it still just feels like surreal. Granted, like, I don't, we don't live that lifestyle at all, <laughs> but it's just like, I don't know, like, yes, I'm not gonna lie, yesterday, like, last night, I was thinking, I was like, I don't know, I had this feeling, like, like, an eerie feeling, like, someone was coming up, like, you know, like, just for a hot second, I was like, I'm walking, like, from the train, I'm like, yeah, like just looking over my shoulder. That's just, Brooklyn. Nah, but no, like, nah, but no, like, like, I promise you, son. Like, I don't feel no type of way when I walk like in my neighborhood. I, I, mm -hmm. I, I'm not, I'm not here to fuck with you. Like, I don't like someone to, to fuck with either. So it's just like, live your life, and I live my. I don't mm -hmm. care about no one in my neighborhood like that. Um, plus, half the neighborhood is, is damn near They're white now. <laughs> Everyone with dogs and riding bikes all over the place. They scared of you. They don't bother. <laughs> They're not worried about me. Then he goes from every, every, every now and then I see red shot. Drop that line. Right. 
<laughs> every now and then, <laughs> now every now and then I see that red star. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, that's just when you got to tuck the chain and keep it moving. <laughs> Period. <laughs> but now it was just like, it's crazy because some people just die every single day. Mm-hmm. Not die. Get killed every single day. You have to make that distinction. And it's just like, wow. But to just see that, like him, out of nowhere, oh, it, just, it just felt, I don't know. And it makes me think it wasn't his time. Yeah. And that also, I was thinking about, not to go deep, but it made me think about <clears throat> Robin Williams. And, like, no one knew what he was going through. And he kind of just, he committed suicide. And it made me wonder, was that his time to die? Even though he people. committed it, was it his time? Like, was this ex's time? Even though, like, he had so much to give. I want to reply to that, but I want, I want to ask something real quick. Because I actually want to go into suicide mm-hmm. and depression. Because I, I want to talk about that. Real quick, though, Rolando mentioned yesterday yesterday he texted me and he was like this is the biggest rap killing since Tupac or Biggie do you agree no wait I wouldn't even equate it <laughs> no since since, oh, since. since? Wait. what about the chinks I, I don't want to say this but yeah I don't <laughs> I given mean, the levels they were at I think he he's, is a national, yeah, national. I know in the city, even world, world, world yeah, global. Yeah, global. <clears throat> so I would say yes. yes. Damn, I, have I know the potential team. like chains and stuff. Yeah, because when he said it to me yesterday, he texted me, and I was like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" And then when I actually had to think back about people who like who have been murdered over the years since then, and I was like, "Damn, this right, this might actually be the, the like the biggest, you know, not to compare me with death, but yeah." This might be one of the biggest ones. Like an impactful. Like, yeah, an since, impact since, since what, 96 yeah. or 97? So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Fredo passed away. That was pretty, but he wasn't really. That yeah, he wasn't big. murdered either. No, nah, that album. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Crazy, right? All right, so suicide, Good right? Job, Rolando. And depression, right? So you mentioned Robin Williams. Just what two weeks ago, Kate Spade, Anthony, Yo, Anthony Bourdain. Bourdain. So like these are like all these people who have all money. this money, success, and most of the time like we equate most people equate like money and you know uh, having the ability to you know travel. Uh, travel and attain anything you want to just happiness. Yeah. But we see all these people who have all this money Still. just committing suicide and taking their lives, like. It's hard to really know what goes on in someone's mind. And even X, he sounds really suicidal in a lot of his songs. Yeah. Like, I would thought he might commit suicide. Why he... do you think that society is so depressed nowadays? Because I don't know. Because we look at other people to validate our lives. Like, <clears> they're <throat> never really happy. We looking at it. That's why I don't like Instagram as much anymore, because it compares your life to everybody else's. And then that, it puts a false impression on your life at the same time. So it's like, you don't know whether you should chase what you want or get what the other person is getting. Yeah. I, I, Cause I was thinking about that idea too. Like, and my friend was just, my coworker was just all over Instagram. Like he sent something to somebody who sent it to a popular Instagrammer. Yeah. And he was going nuts. Like, oh my God, he used my video. Like, I can't believe it. And that made him so happy. And I'm like, but what, like, why are you so happy about it? <laughs> like, it doesn't, he didn't put you in it. He didn't really do anything for you except use your video. So why are you equating your happiness to that? Yeah. Yeah, I wonder. I think that's a good point. And I wonder if it's because we just know what everybody is doing now. Yeah. So, like, I hear everyone talk about mental health. And it's like, this can't be since the dawn of time the first time. Because <laughs> when, you, when you think about what people do. Like since the dawn of time, people have drank, people have gone to drugs, and it's it's not all for fun. Yeah, obviously it's to cope. So you would have to link that yeah. to mental health too. So I, I think your point, and I also think it's because it's so everyone's talking about it now. Yeah, yeah. so it's kind of like I don't yeah. know. It's not not a fact. You just hear about it more yeah. too. Yeah, w- but yeah, social media definitely doesn't. Because if you if you don't know how to react to it the right way, mm-hmm. like I do think I agree with you. Like a lot of people look. Like these false impressions. Mm-hmm. Some people, not everybody, you know, some people are genuine, but like you said, a lot. And it's just, they want that thing that that person in the photo has to make them happy when the person posting the photo isn't happy. And yeah. 
it's it's so much. <laughs> yeah. I think I, I agree with both of your points. Um, I I think because like it's so accepted now for people to speak about it. Yeah. Whereas I I would say especially from a from a man's point of view, where it's just like. A couple of years ago, if you spoke about this, they'd be like, yo, stop being a bitch, you know? Mm -hmm. you Man, I, yeah, so I'm sure a lot of men were probably going through this and probably didn't even know what it was, per se, because even I would say even the, the education on depression has increased That's over the years, where because people weren't informing people, oh, you might be depressed, you mm -hmm. know? Um, I think it's that, so people are, are, are more accepting of it, speaking about it. I think social media, on two aspects of it, one, gives everyone a voice, so people you get to learn from other people who have symptoms of depression. Whereas you, whereas before, you probably didn't know what you were going through, but now you know you can see someone else explain depression to you. Yeah. And then you realize, wow, maybe I'm depressed. Like, yeah. this is what I'm feeling. The negative side on that is exactly what you were saying. I feel like you just constantly see so much. Cause like, that, let's think about this, right? Before social media, right? You knew there were rich people in the world, right? Yeah. But you didn't see what they were doing. You didn't see it. You didn't see it. No, seriously. That was just so a, true. It was always just like, oh, imagination, you know? Mm -hmm. You didn't see the inside of their house. You didn't yeah. see all the jewelry they had. You didn't see them on private jets. You didn't see none of this shit. Like, you literally just like, wow. Such and such, probably. Yeah, you knew you knew it exists. Like, what? Keep check. You probably <laughs> eating well. You know, you probably saw them movies. Like, <laughs> eating well. Oh, let's see now. Yeah, but like, now, it's, now it's in your face all the time. It's like, you should be making this much. You should be doing this. And I'm not even going to lie. Sometimes I catch myself in, like, very weak moments where I see something. I'm like, damn. Such and such is traveling again? <laughs> like, I'm, like, I promise, like, even something, something so small like that, though, for a hot minute can make you feel like, mm -hmm. like you're not doing something. Yeah. And it's like, damn, like, should I be doing that, too? Yeah. Like, I, I, should, I should be making the moves, too. And, like, um, but no, so it's like, yeah, social media is like, everything is constantly in everyone's face all the time. So it's like, it makes you feel inadequate. Like, I should be having, I should do more. I should have this. And it's, 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 it's it's a weird feeling. Like you have to truly know yourself in this day and age, yeah. and be confident in yourself. Yeah. In order to not like be on social media and like in your feelings all all day, because mm -hmm. everyone's everyone realistically everyone's just posting, um, what they want you to see. This mm -hmm. is the best version of me. I'm posting all the good things. Right? Yeah. And people who post too many bad things, then it's like like too many negative things, then you start worrying about them. But yeah. for the most part, everyone's posting what they want you to see on social media. So if you let that affect your mood and your feelings, which is which I'm not saying is a bad thing. I mean it is a bad thing, but it's not um it's a, it's not an easy thing to not to not do, you know. It's easy to to, to let that affect your mood. Mm -hmm. It's like your initial feeling is to be like, Wow, yeah, this person has something or this person is doing something that I don't have or I'm not doing. Yeah, it's the prolong. <clears throat> yeah. If you find yourself within prolong like funk because like you said, we all have like moments <coughs> where like, like, yeah. excuse me. I should be doing that. And then you like catch yourself like, no, nah, my path is my path. Mm -hmm. Person's path is there. And then you, you know, you get back to your center. But there's some people that just like dwell in it. Yeah. And I would say, like, if you can't handle it, you should really give it a break. You mm -hmm. know? But I totally agree with you. Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah, you need to figure out a way to put yourself out of that. Like, you can, like, it's like, who I forgot where I read it. They said that people need social media training. Because they're too involved in it, and like they want it so much that they don't know how to like get out. Mm -hmm. And even like, I was thinking about it too yesterday. Everybody was thinking yesterday. Um, hip hop now seems more like the way it was supposed to be brought up. Like hip hop was a way to express yourself, a different form of music, especially in poverty. Now we're actually getting the feelings and the emotions that a majority of the people have that listen to hip hop like i mean we're going to talk about it the nas album yeah like how nas is like 38 like no, in his 40s, 40s no 40s like, yeah he's old yeah. and like the stuff he's telling me like that it resonates more and even like uh j cole mm -hmm. like he he put it like i'm not an addict to marijuana but like the, the idea he has and, and the stuff he was talking about opened my mind up and I don't remember like a hip hop artist in the thousands or like the nineties that was making music like that. Like Jay Z was making drug music, 
but now it's like conscious like 444 was an album about a man who made mistakes and him trying like real issues not yeah, i'm in yeah. the street trying to get money like this is mental <clears throat> and it helps like and yeah, i economic really well even X, yeah, it's not it's not about that. It's more about it's your no insides point. and like what's going on. Like that's why I like X because it's he. It was separate. He took even Kanye. He took himself out of music and went to Wisconsin in the mountains and like took his peace there. Yeah, X took himself out, was chilling, made his music, made his peace. Kendrick, I think, was doing it too when he did uh, Butterfly, the group of Butterfly. Mm-hmm. Like they all like hip hop now. It just seems like it's more on a. A, like a spiritual path, not to say it, more mm-hmm. like a mental thing. The the older it gets, we just see these different generations. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know if it's social media. I don't even know what the generation. It's not to be funny. I don't know the the generation above, like the Jays and the Nas, like the Rock Hims, the yeah. Big Daddy Kanes. Like, you might hear about them if you listen to like a Drink Champs and you hear like an old story, but they're not really prominent on social media. I don't know what they're doing. To that extent, you look at like the Jin and Nas, that's like the oldest generation that I can actually identify and see what they're doing. They're actually teaching us stuff. You see as they get older, how they're moving. Mm-hmm. And then you still have this middle generation, like the Drakes, the J. Coles, the Kendricks and stuff. And then you have the lower generation, which is sadly like the X's, the little pumps, the little peeps. Yeah. So you see all these different tiers and per and like it's it's obviously unfortunate what's happening, but it's good you can see the differences as you go through the generations and you yeah. can you can get motivation, you can feel sad. Mm. But basically just as it grows older it's it's just compelling. It's better too. It is but it's better for the cause you can pick what you choose to Yeah. Yeah. You know <clears throat> I'm thinking, right? So as as we're speaking, like more thoughts are coming into my head and I'm like so we're talking about like how Depression is more accepting now, or accepted now. I do. I feel like let me say this. I'll, and then you can guys tell me your thoughts. I feel like granted, it's more accepted. People still don't know how to cope with it. Yeah. Right. And I think the access, because now I think now we have more access to drugs than ever before. Mm-hmm. Like every day, there's a new drug coming out, and these kids are trying it. I think that that, like, it makes them feel good for that moment. Mm-hmm. But it still takes them into a deeper state of depression because you're constantly coping with something, and like you constantly are using this drug. Basically, that's why like most of these like young younger rappers they look crazy as shit because like they're all Dead like they they just look like they look scary. Like I like, wouldn't want them walking behind me. Yeah. It's like what is going on? Yeah, and it's like <laughs> you you're using all these drugs to cope with this depression. It, it's I don't know. It's like a, it feels like a, a cycle like, right now where mm-hmm. it's like yeah. I am depressed. I'm gonna use these drugs, and then I'm gonna tell you about my depression. And then I'm gonna use these drugs again to be, you know, to make me feel better. <clears throat> I just, I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, some are just gonna have to hurt, like learn the hard way, sadly. Yeah. Because when you're at that age, it's like, fuck, you don't tell me anything. I know what's best. But you also got people like Lil Uzi Vert. He said he was gonna chill on it. I think after Lil, what happened to Lil? Or I see, yeah. maybe not. He posted a video of him having the shakes, though. That shit was crazy. He said he's gonna chill. I forgot how long ago. Mm-hmm. So, like, obviously, he recognizes even that um that little pump and J Cole. They talked about it. Little pump, I, I assume I'm taking on his word. He's like, yo, that shit is whack. And like, I cut back off. He said he cut it out of his life because he and J Cole were talking about. I think lean. Mm-hmm. And he's like, what, twenty? Twenty. So, at least some people are learning. Yeah. It's hard to say. This is the thing. Like I was speaking to, um, was it not, not my fault? One of my uncles about this, and it's hard. Like he was talking about the crack era mm-hmm. and how, like you know, how everyone was saying how stupid people looked, you know, when they were on crack. I feel like this is like the new crack has just like yeah. functioning. Like it's, it's, um, like it's hard for like the older older generation to sit there and judge these young kids for doing this when they were trying the same things and doing the same things. Mm-hmm. Like, they were like full-blown, like, when crack was popping, like, niggas that would just rob you. Like, yeah. crackheads that would be all over the place, running over, skirting the city. And I feel like, granted, these dudes are on, like, lean, and, you know, I guess it's not as, you know, I mean, it's, it's obviously addictive, but it's not as, um, I don't say, for lack of a better word, like, crucial in its effects mm-hmm. as crack was. Because crack will have you, you know, 
sucking dick or some wild shit like that. Whereas, like... They give you lean, like, medicine. Yeah, like, lean medicine. is like, all right, cool, you know, I'm, I'm just going to sit here, I'm going to slump, I'm going to go to sleep, and then, you know, slowly my body deteriorate, and then I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. It's, I don't know. It's... Crank got you selling equipment. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you got three mics now? <laughs> Whole mix of Where's the other mic stand? Slowly the podcast just, just, just deteriorate. <laughs> I had to sell the rights to the podcast. <laughs> I sold it all. <laughs> I want to suck guys on me back. Yo, I want to suck on the trademark. I, <laughs> like, I want to suck in the dick. Yeah. That mic had to go. I had to sell something. Like, <laughs> you, see a, the trademark. <laughs> you see a different person, Jarrell sold his name. <laughs> I mean, his shirts be all bad and shit. <laughs> nah, it's uh, true. I would say, like, personally, <laughs> I remember when I was going through a rough time and I was smoking a lot of weed, like, I would wake up and smoke and then just go right back to sleep. Like it wasn't, and then I would wake up in paranoid mode and smoke again and go mm. back to sleep. Like it was a cycle. And my mom was telling me like, nah, don't like, stop, stop smoking. Like it's not good for you. And I was just like, no, like <laughs> I want to. Yeah. Cause I'm going through whatever <clears throat> I'm going through. And it was bad. Like I, I couldn't even not do anything to smoke. And yeah. it was like, you had to take yourself out and see yourself like changing. Like if it wasn't for me noticing the change, I would have been stuck in a cycle. And I think that happens when you're young and you don't know how to deal with things. Yep. And you try to look for no, yeah, things. You keep everything in. Yeah. You keep Impressive. everything in. And and that's, in that too. So I appreciate Drake and J. Cole because it's like all those things yeah. that they felt, they put it out there and Kendrick and they're not afraid to say how they feel. Yeah. And Nas, I love that album too. And it's like, I felt what Nas felt, like, as if I was Nas. Nas didn't say it in a way for all of us. I feel like he said it in a way for him to tell, like, he's telling us. Yeah. Uh, that's why I, I like, I really like the Nas album. Me too. I, I was surprised by how much I like Nas album. Yeah? Yeah. I think, one, the production definitely helped. Definitely Wait. helped. Who knows? Oh, yeah, man. <clears throat> the production definitely it's helped. Good. But I'm not gonna lie, I was really impressed by Nas's delivery and his mm-hmm. flow on on the tracks, I was like, "Oh, okay." Like it was, a, it was great. It was still Nas, but it had a modern feel to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Like he yeah. definitely switched his flow up a little, and I was like, "Oh, okay, cool." Like there was, um, like Bonjour. He would never make nothing like yeah. that. I never heard something like that before. <laughs> he would never <laughs> make something yeah, like I that. Need that on a nice yeah. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But nah, the album is, I, I think the album is dope. I yeah. agree. That's a shame it's being like overshadowed. It really is good. It's getting overshadowed because Jay and Beyonce. Can we talk about that? Go ahead. That's fucked up. That is fucked up. What, you think they did it on purpose? The Carters. I don't know. I don't know. Because they obviously been plotting for a while. <laughs> they, they were on tour. It, had, it couldn't have. I, I don't think so. I don't want to believe. I that. wouldn't put it past them. Me either. But I, I don't know if they did it or not. But I just wouldn't put yeah. it past them. They're opportunists, and they're both strategic. I mean, like they're very strategic in their moves and what they're doing. Why is Saturday afternoon? Because it's something that Kanye produced dropped, and it's not. Why not on that on that Friday when all albums come out? Because <laughs> your album is a surprise album. People were waiting for Nas' album, so your album has one day and then Nas' album. Did you listen to the album? What? The Carters? Yeah, I did. That's why they did it that way. If I, I just this this is my personal opinion. It was alright. If I would have heard that album and then heard Nas's, I would never listen to the album again. I heard the album, I'm probably gonna never listen to the album again. Well that's how I experienced and I was listening to Nas like, yo, this is better. <laughs> this is, I'm like, this is better than yeah. everything is love. Everything is love. There's some songs. Yeah. It's cool. But it's, I don't like them. Like, I prefer them apart. Yeah. I really do. Like, I don't even... It's probably a handful of their collabs I actually like together. What's the last one? I like it. Drunk in Love. That's the one. I'm usually in Love. I, I guess like on, four, 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 I like on the Run. Oh, that's not for me. That ain't for you? That's not for me. What's the Bonnie and Clyde? Oh, yeah. Oh, three. Three. Oh, three. 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 That's the whole three. That one, too. So won't you? Yeah. <laughs> you don't like on the Run, bro? I'd have to give, I don't, yeah, I get a spin on the way home. I don't know. It's very, it's, it's very soulful. 
Oh, did you see <clears throat> the albums released under a certain thing though? It's the S. Dot Carter Enterprises. Oh, this is that. I never heard of that before. Yeah, uh, four 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 was something like that as well. I want to know what the fuck he's doing because they then he released. They released. Uh, he's a president of Puma. Oh, creative, creative director. director of yeah. Puma. Jay Z is not creative. Like, <laughs> I've never seen a creative. No, I ain't gonna woman. say that, beloved. I don't know. I've never seen Jay Z do create. Like, yeah, you wore the New York hat. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, you by yourself. Yeah, you by, yeah. <laughs> I'll take that. Because he dropped some I'm trying to get a sponsorship. <laughs> I mean, you don't get that for sure. I don't know what he does behind the scenes, but I know he's like, yeah, it's like him, Diddy, and Dre as far as people that came from hip hop. I didn't know you surpassed Diddy this part of shit. See, you know, on that race to a billion. Yeah, it's like, smart. Well, from eight, ten to nine hundred. That's what I was saying yesterday. We were. What's the alert you said? Oh, you said video. You sent us the alert about him being the uh, the creative director. Yeah. Why you listen to his album on his streaming service? It's like yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's like, like come he's, on, bro. No, he's such an inspiration. You took yeah. us come on. That's so inspiring. Like, yeah, it's like how true. We used to sell drugs in Marcy projects. <laughs> well, yeah. Besides that. It's like, yeah, I million. look up to Jay. I like Woo. Jay. Mm-hmm. Like, what he's done as far as hip-hop, like, it's been crazy. And he's still around. But, like, he, what are you great? He keeps... He keeps <laughs> <laughs> and he keeps reinventing himself. He got caught cheating and made the album about it. That's really, That's smart. But he's also reinvented himself in the sense that he, he, might be a 50, he might be a 50-year-old man. Even, like, the way his, his raps change. He's talking about away. drugs. He talks about, like... Picasso and art and things he's actually doing right now. Mm-hmm. He, I don't he's know. the best representative we've had. Switching over to he's sports. He's almost a 50 year old man in hip hop. Still yeah. doing it. That's like at the top. Still. It's like, yeah, it's inspiring, bro. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I still wouldn't pay for title. Um, but I got my. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. But I got my six free months. You get yours? I no, no, it's on Apple Music. Oh. And right when you said that, I thought about it. <clears throat> and when it came on Apple Music, I said, fuck it. Don't I'm not worry. listening to I got a reminder in my phone for when to cancel. Ain't shit ain't for me. <laughs> Yo. I look at the video. I got an alert. What was, I think it might have been Billboard. It was like a news alert. <laughs> yeah. Like, drop what you're doing. Oh, boy. <laughs> Listen to <laughs> <ain't> shit. <laughs> And I wasn't moved. I was like, let me let me give this a chance. Cause that last one they did with Calvin, top, top off the make, God, Yo, whack. that shit was so whack. And they keep they the radio keeps trying to spin that. Uh, to the yeah. top, oh my <laughs> back. I did that. It felt like some shit that was like made in like 2010 or 2018. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's not for me. Yeah, I like Friends. It's like I like. I like elements of the songs, but they don't all come together. Yeah, like Jay got a couple of verses on some songs. I like his I like, verses. I like, I, don't want. I like B's verses on some other songs. Or her singing on this, yeah. but then Jay shouldn't be rapping on this. Nothing there just really like hit me, hit me. Yeah. Well, I was like, oh, this is the banger. But just like, all right, cool. Could cool. be good. I did. It did feel like that. <clears throat> the way it was released was I like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, take yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. Like. I didn't get like a whole big. But I do respect what they're doing as this like power couple oh, shit. Cause you shooting videos in a loop. Yeah. Come on. They they on some other power couple type level. Black love. You can't even touch them right now. Yeah, they don't have examples like that. And Beehive is just insane. Yeah. Don't say nothing negative about her. Yeah, we got to scrap the last like yeah. ten fifteen. Yeah, they come <laughs> after you. Shut the whole shit down. See, that's why I can't even gauge how many how many you like actually love it and then. I said this in that Scorpion gonna be better than <laughs> what? Scorpion gonna be better than <laughs> That's a fact. Can we can I say something? I don't know if it's real, but you can say whatever you want. Pusha T's this is on Scorpion. That's what I heard. I saw that. I saw that accent. <clears throat> yeah. I won't look forward to it. I'm just I'm gonna gonna hear it. I mean listen. I'm not gonna <laughs> What? Eleven PM next Friday. <laughs> Late th- no next late next Thursday. Next Thursday. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That's yeah. easy when they come out. Yeah. Twelve a.m. He he usually releases it early too. Like I'll stay up. Yeah, you know it. Quick listen on the couch. Listen to it again. Going mm-hmm. to work the next day. I'll, I'll be about ten listens in by the time two o'clock. <laughs> 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 my lunch time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then send a mad scorpion emojis. <laughs> Yeah, what's I, I, gonna I apologize in advance. Nah. Huh? What's I gonna do, people? Nah. What you gonna do, girl? Nah. You're not gonna hear from me. We still meet up next Friday. <laughs> <laughs> we can 
fucking beat up, but if I ain't blowing up your phone with lyrics, y'all know something's wrong. <laughs> nah, I don't think that's so. impossible. And it'll be true. I heard Nice go out like three times on Father's Day. Jesus Christ, that song is fun. <laughs> God almighty. Hey, how do you guys feel about him upset? That boy's slick. <laughs> Yeah, Yo, that video, in, I was I'm happy. all the way back in. I was like, he had that in the chamber. It's yeah, still the worst of the singles and probably the worst song on the album, but hey. That video did nothing for me. You a liar. I'm not <laughs> yeah, why why I didn't watch the grassy. Uh, but I mean, the video to me was like, all right, cool. Like, this is like a for the grassy reunion, but the song still is not good. You don't like the song? You gotta use nostalgia. Mm -hmm. That's how he got me. <laughs> I'm upset. How did they that? Like, no, my head is disrespect. <laughs> yeah. The song doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> Maybe one of five best and a ten. That's it. That's literally the same flow of the entire song. It, it threatens somewhere. to go somewhere and it's like, eh. Yeah, no, it's like, nah, pull it back. <laughs> nah, I like it for what it is. Like, you know, just that track that. Not that one's getting skipped right now. <laughs> <laughs> Like a bonus track. <laughs> Ain't no way all this new shit gonna be in front of me. And I'm, nah, gonna, I'm gonna yeah. sit through this just to sit through. <laughs> well, I, like, I already Before heard it. it. Hell. I don't know any, oh, a lot of albums anyway though. Like I already heard the song. I'm just like, oh, make it. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Like was he putting like, the hotline bling area all the way at the back? The bottom. <laughs> See, looking at all these song titles, like, what the hell is this about? I'm upset. It, that was a moment. But but nah, I look forward to listening to Scorpion. Yeah. Oh, before we go. Did you get J-Rock's album? I did. That shit. Did you listen to it? Oh, of course. That shit. I ain't gonna lie. Ooh. I went in a, a, a mean skeptic. I knew he could spit. From the that time he uh, held his own and, and uh, arguably got the better of Kendrick on Money Trees, from then I was all mm -hmm. in on him. So I always knew he could spit. It was like when they had a good body of work. Woo! Yeah, uh, that's a dope album. God, did you good. guys, you guys heard 9 Double O? Yeah. 5-1, did you? Remember Easy Bake? That's one with Vice City. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You heard it? But who made that? <laughs> <Jay Rock. laughs> this is my first experience with him. I had oh, for real? No, he got the best. I had no idea who he was yeah. until today. He said, Jay Rock, I Googled him. I said, oh, TDE. Okay, well, I listen to his music. This is the best friend. I was going to listen to <clears throat> Vice City, Big Sale. What's that other one with Kendrick on there? You talking about Nine Sousa? No, Nine Double O Five. No. Easy Bake. Yeah. Easy Bake. What you guys like? On, what song do you guys like on this album? Bloodiest, Wild Freestyle with him and Kendrick is fucking insane. That's dope. For what it's worth, Troopers, but the majority of it. The only one I don't like, and it I, is a common refrain, unless you're Drake, the tap out with Jeremiah. These what? female songs just sound forced to me. I'm sorry, it's not, it's, not like it's not for me. It's not for me. It's not for me. It's not for me. Can't knock them all. <laughs> Can't get them all. That's just me. I'm in the minority. <laughs> I live with that. I like that. I like um broke. Yeah. <clears throat> it's dope. The bloodiest Shit. is dope. Wow, I really like. When, God almighty, that song is so good. <laughs> when I love that song. I've been yeah. bumping that song. Win, 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 win. I want new Kendrick, man. Oh, oh I like that. I like knock it off. Yeah. I like OSO. Oh, oh, oh J -Cole. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. song is fire too. Yeah, that's real like King. King's dad is cool. We heard that already. Yeah, so that's oh my god, that's cool. That's probably for the stream. Yeah, yeah I can't remember <laughs> it. Skip that. <laughs> I like ES Tales too. It is what it is. That yeah. one is dope, but the little Mario coin thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. That one was dope. I'm surprised. Yeah, and he got to talk about Nas getting overshadowed. He got. He dropped Nas drop, and the car is just Jacquees drop. I heard that album was actually pretty good. It's okay. I already got a lot of like um. Sex songs? A lot of like old school R&B people on it. Uh, he got any features? Dino Jones. Uh, yeah, I mean, he got Trey Songs, Ty Dollars, <laughs> Birdman. What? what? <laughs> exactly. The only thing. Huh? Did you hear the Superfly, Superfly soundtrack? I like it. Are there any songs with Future and Thug? It's whack. I don't like oh. it. I don't like it. It's nothing like Slime. Yeah, no, that's what it is. Sorry. Yeah. He has Jagged Edge. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the dude from Jagged Edge. Songs. Dino Jones. Jones. Birdman, Chris Brown, Latasha, Scott, Dejo. Hmm. It's okay. Oh, he's on Cash Money. That's why Birdman's on it. Anybody dropping this week? Oh, this week is Tiana Taylor, right? Yeah. Aside from, she's the only one? That's it. Note. When she drop? 
this Friday. Apparently they say it's good. Friday, it they can say anything is good until. It's <laughs> I'm just saying what they say. My sources. <laughs> My sources. This is a random league. <laughs> Some heat. See, yeah, I give it a listen. Ain't nothing else gonna be. Seven out. tracks. I listen to it. That's right. what we, we don't know anymore. It's summertime. People be dropping shit left and right. True. Out of nowhere. So who could surprise drop? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to Wale. I promise I'm about to say Wale. Wait, did you hear the EP he dropped? I did the not. I heard that was fire. That was fire. I heard it was I'm fire. Still, four four you sent us that. Yeah. I listened to, listen to the first track and then I got caught up washing dishes or some shit. Mm-hmm. So four four tracks? Yeah. That's all it is. I get these concise. See, I could do that. The last track is fire. It's the best track. People's listen like... Attention span is way too short now for anything like J Rock's album was like 13 tracks. Cause they, and, I, and I barely made it, and the only reason I made it because I skipped the two songs I already knew. Like I, I skipped uh, <laughs> Win and um, Redemption. And yeah, Redemption. I heard yeah. it's a race. I was like, let me skip. I, was like, I heard it's a race. Skip, skip. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Coming up, <clears throat> I was like, uh. but it, it kept my interest. Yeah. I saw the tracks and I was like, nah, I gotta do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's only right. Nah, it was good though. Yeah. What else was there? Danny, nothing else dropped, right? Mm-hmm. Not a what a month. Yeah, nice. Yeah, last week was insane. I can't wait for next week. That's it. God almighty, I can't wait. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys gonna be slumped oh, up all day. Oh, goodness. You just gonna be answering with Drake lyrics. It's gonna be Drake. <laughs> it's gonna be Drake and too much sun. Oh, yeah, you gotta be out somewhere drunk as fuck. With the Ray Man Oh my goodness. Drake and too much sun. Kevin yeah, gonna know how to act. Uh, Last we see Kevin. Must sleep down over at Freeho. <laughs> <laughs> In heaven. Uh, oh, boom. Maybe I can make a Freeho move next weekend. If I, can, I, haven't heard, I didn't hear Praise the Lord. Oh my, my goodness. goodness. Oh, I love that. I have to hear that song in a club environment. Mm-hmm. Those flutes, That song man. is so good. I have to hear that like with like, boom, like someone's blowing my ears out, pause. Um, <laughs> <laughs> need to hear that. I can't. I need to hear this new Scorpion. And I'll be like, yeah, let's do that. All right, people. Well, this is another episode of Cooling Out. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm like, oh, what's that? I'm like, it's, it's Tuesday, damn. Yeah, I know. But it's about to hit midweek. This time to do it to you. It's getting warm too. Yeah, today I was walking around midtown. Oh, I almost fainted first of all. Yeah, way too hot, but almost didn't go back to work. <laughs> I wanted to walk out. I told you, walk home. <laughs> Keep going. So, is that a rooftop? <laughs> <laughs> Wonder what's up there. <laughs> oh, man. But this is another episode of Cooling Out, guys. Please rate, mm-hmm. share, subscribe. Tell everyone about it. Tell the world about it. Um, Check the YouTube page, YouTube slash Cool Now Pod. Mm-hmm. Got the full length videos up there. You guys make sure you check that out. Um, so yeah, just keep you know showing love, support. We appreciate all the love. We'll keep doing this thing for you guys. Until next time, it's cooling out. R.I.P.X. Stay cool. Woo.